Welcome everyone to The Buzz. My name is Anne Franze and I'm the Visual Presentation Coordinator here at Giftcraft. Now, as you already know, there's always something exciting happening here at Giftcraft. And it's another exciting time for me as my team and I prepare for launching some more new and unbelievably exciting products. There is quite a bit of planning that takes place before the showroom becomes a flurry of activity. This is how the whole process works for me. Once the line review is complete, I head in and start taking photos of all the products that Giftcraft will be going forward with. It's such an exciting time for me because it's my first glimpse of everything. And as I'm clicking away, the ideas start to flow. With a sketch pad and pencil in hand, I then ask myself, how am I going to interpret these lines to you, our customer, through visual presentation? As I start sketching, I am reminded that my goal is to make sure that when you visit our showroom, that you become excited when you catch your very first glimpse of everything as well. When you attend a live theater performance and the curtain is raised, your senses automatically react. You experience emotion. I want to create that same sense of emotion when you visit our showroom. Each and every line that we carry here at Giftcraft is unique and different. When you head into each of the vignettes, you will notice that they do stand out on their own. Why is that? Well, it's as simple as this. The wall has been painted, the flooring has been installed, and the props have been added. In other words, the stage has been set. If you're looking for a special way to add some style and definition to your walls, beadboard is one option that does just that. It's very versatile in the application in that you can take the beadboard up to the ceiling and finish it off with a classic trim or take it up three quarters of the wall or by creating a wainscoting effect. The cost of beadboard paneling varies greatly depending on the quality of the materials that you're using. Imitation beadboard is very reasonable and cost effective for a temporary application, while real beadboard will cost considerably more. The reason we use the cost effective beadboard panel is that we change up our showroom so frequently. Let's take a look at this vignette. It's no secret that I love this seaside beachy theme called Waterfront. When I had my first peek at the product, I immediately knew that I wanted something fresh and sophisticated. I wanted to incorporate an intense and powerful color on the wall and also add a wall treatment that would complement the product, as well as have some staying power in the showroom. In the Waterfront collection, the beadboard extends just approximately a foot below the ceiling trim. A small ledge was added. This creates visual interest and also allows for some more display space in which product can also be featured. Another idea is to lay the beadboard horizontally. It would still be very interesting and at the same time give the illusion of a longer wall. I love the versatility of this wall treatment. I won't be taking this down anytime soon. The beadboard can be painted over and over again. It doesn't make a difference what color I decide to repaint it because the charm and visual interest that first enticed me to use it will always remain. In this kitchen setting, the artwork makes a statement when it sits atop the beadboard. The second image shows how a full wall of beadboard can create interest and can liven up a drab wall, especially when painted a fresh spring color. Speaking of installing beadboard horizontally, here's a perfect example of how it can create a casual atmosphere. The added accessories and weathered barn board adds charm and character to the entire space. It's amazing what one can create out of trim molding. Trim can be added to create a raised panel on the wall, which can be great if you want to create focal points in a different manner. It's an effective way to display one large item or several small ones within the framed area. This can be as fancy or detailed as you would like. Of course, the more elaborate the design, the more upscale it becomes. Make sure it suits the product that you are featuring. Trim was added to our chateau line in which one of the main walls had a trim panel added and also had been wallpapered to add the feeling of a French inspired space. Creating a panel on the wall allows me to play with the space inside each panel. Here are some other examples of how simple trim can create an amazing backdrop that can be used in your window or interior displays. This example is perfect when showcasing a series of prints, canvas, art, etc. It certainly creates impact and the fact that the walls and trims are monochromatic and classic in color really forces you to look at the art first. In this image, hanging mirrors look just as effective. I love the vertical design of the trim. This has a very clean and contemporary feel about it. 
an eclectic look has been created within the trim. I love the mismatched collection and how the wall detail is secondary to the vignette. Wainscoting is the technique of covering the lower portion of the wall with the form of wood paneling. Many people think of beadboard when they hear wainscoting. The paneling's distinctive grooves make it highly visually interesting and create a very unique appearance. It also lends itself to a very distinct look and a feel that many people associate with beach houses, farmhouses, and a more casual design scheme. In Living Quotes, a neutral color palette was used to make sure that the product design would stand out. The painting options are endless when adding this feature to your walls. You can paint the entire wall one color, paint the top and bottom in a monochromatic color palette, or paper the area above the wood detailing and paint the wainscoting in a complementary color. The same design technique is shown here. The walls are painted a soft cream and the wainscoting is a warm white. It looks fresh. Here is another example of how the lower portion of the wall can be visually interesting without the use of beadboard to create a wainscoting effect. But there are many techniques in which you can create the same effect by using different materials. Take a look at this version of the lattice technique. Paint the wall in a soft color and add the lattice over top. This is a great application for creating an indoor garden effect. There are numerous types and designs of wallpaper that are out there for us to use. The patterns are beautiful and there really is something out there for every type of decor. Having some fun with our product also allows you to have fun when you display it in your store. Here's an example of paper design that has been around a long time, the faux brick wallpaper. A perfect example is a rock out line. The idea was to create a set that would be entertaining. When completed, it really does have a cool look about it. This technique is super simple. The wall itself was painted in a black matte paint. Benjamin Moore's black tar was used and when the area was dry, the carefully torn brick wallpaper was added. The idea was to create a backdrop that had an appearance of an old stage set where you could grab your guitar and jam with your buddies. As with any other wall treatment, once completed, you can now add a few chosen prop elements to really create the right feel. Now you're ready to merchandise and display your product. When using wallpaper, make sure that the paper you choose reinforces the message or theme of your product, as well as being complementary to the product that you are displaying. In this case, it works with the canvas art and the other items in the line. A simple backdrop can be created by papering just one wall and accenting the other wall with a complementary paint color. Keep in mind the design of the paper as well as the scale of the pattern. It must be just right. You can always bring samples to your shop and tape it to the wall area to get a good idea of what it will look like. You could find that a really bold paper design might just be too much, and you may find that placing a grouping of metal wall art just gets lost. But the same pattern paper would be gorgeous making a statement with one large stunning mirror. Do you want to be daring and have some fun at the same time? Experiment with patterns. Yes, I do know that mixing patterns and textures can be tricky and can result in wrong combinations that don't look good. This is why most people never do it, but seriously, it can look amazing if done correctly. As a general rule, a good mix includes a small, a medium, and large scale pattern. Ideally, each pattern or fabric's color should be repeated at least once in the room. Mixing various types of patterns is a good way to get started. Think florals with stripes and checks. Creating focal points with wallpaper is also a great way to draw attention to an area. If you happen to have a faux or real fireplace in your shop, have the area above the fireplace papered. It really does get your attention and your focus is entirely on what's happening on the mantle and on the wall above it. In this image, we are shown how pattern can be introduced in a subtle way without being overpowering. The back of units or cabinetry is a great way to introduce a color theme that will work with the product. It could be something as simple and classic as ticking or stripes or a simple shot of color. Either way, you have an interesting backdrop that's done on a small scale, which adds just the right amount of pop. So there you have it. Creating backdrops or sets, as we also call them, really can make a difference when you are displaying your product. It will certainly give your store loads of personality, as well as allowing you to have some fun and be creative. Thanks for taking the time to allow me to speak with you. And until next time, happy displaying.